In this short how-to video, we'll illustrate how to reset a 3730-3 positioner to factory default settings and perform an auto calibration. Detailed step-by-step -step instructions can also be found by following the link below. This process should be performed after conducting any maintenance requiring valve disassembly or if you're experiencing positioner problems resulting in erratic valve behavior. To begin, we must enter the configuration mode before any changes can be made. Using the rotary push button, turn it until parameter 3 is shown and push the button. Turn again until the display shows yes and push to accept the change. Now we'll go to parameter 36 to reset the positioner to factory default. Push the knob and then rotate until it indicates standard and push once again. Wait until standard disappears from the display to complete the factory reset. We can now begin to calibrate the positioner. To ensure the changes can be made, will confirm configuration mode is still enabled by going back to parameter 3 and yes is still displayed. Parameter 4 is the pin position and is changed to 35. 5 sets our travel and is kept at 15 millimeters. 6 will change to nominal to use our 15 millimeter stroke rather than the valve maximum. 7 sets our operating direction to increasing, increasing. We now go back to parameter 0 and press the recessed initialization button to begin the auto calibration process. This process can take a few minutes while the positioner adapts itself to the specific valve and its operating characteristics. It is important not to disturb or interrupt this process until it's finished. Once the calibration is completed, the display will briefly show tuned and then revert to the position specified by the control signal. In this case, we've set it to 12 milliamps or approximately 50% as indicated by the display. To confirm correct operation, we'll cycle through various set points and ensure the valve responds accurately. We hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.